Welcome to the Immigration News section for week 45. Did you know that the federal government will grant parole to asylum seekers to end the remaining Mexico policy demand? Also, the historic increase in inadmissible individuals at U.S. ports of entry reflects changes in immigration patterns. Here are the most important immigration news of the week. Welcome to the Quiroga Law Office weekly news section. This is a space where we share all the latest immigration updates. This is the most important immigration news of the week. We invite you to stay tuned. Study from the Bipartisan Policy Center undercurses the need to address backlogs in the U.S. immigration system. Eliminating delays with green cards could increase the GDP by $3.9 trillion in the next decade. Delays are affecting 7.6 million applications, leaving essential positions vacant and restricting job opportunities. Increasing green card limits and allocating more resources for visa processing are key policies. Without immediate action, potential consequences consequences are expected from the economy and the country's workforce. The Biden administration will grant parole to 11 asylum seekers who challenged the Remain in Mexico policy. This agreement resolved claims about the Migrant Protection Protocol, which affected 68,000 individuals. DHS will accept parole applications without fees and processes them with 15 days, providing temporary protections for two years. This could set a precedent for other asylum seekers in similar situations. We recommended seeking advice from an immigration lawyer. The extension of TPS to 4,700 Venezuelan immigrants in the U.S. highlights their valuable economy contribution. According to the United States Census Bureau, they generated over $10 billion in income and contribute more than $2 billion in taxes in 2021. Florida, California, Texas, and New York were the most benefited states. The 18-month extension offers an opportunity for further contribution, considering the crisis in Venezuela. Despite the uncertainty, the termination of TPS will affect the local economy and the livelihood of over 41% of the holders. Granting permanent residency will further boost economic investment in the country. A human rights first report highlights the increasing threats to asylum seekers at the southern border of the country. With the implementation of the CBP-1 application to schedule appointments and entry points, the asylum process can take months. In addition to legal hardness to stay in sick protection, there have been increases in kidnappings and violence against migrants awaiting appointments, limited to less than 1,500 per day. While lawyers sue the Biden administration for rejecting asylum seekers, the case is progressing in the courts. In June and July 2023, the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Field Operations Office recorded more than 199,000 inadmissible individuals at the U.S. ports of entry, marking a drastic increase since since 2021. In fiscal year 2023, more than 780 immigrants were deemed inadmissible. The busiest ports were San Isidro, Bronzeville, and Hidalgo. The nationality of the inadmissible individuals varies, with Haiti, Mexico, Venezuela, Ukraine, and Cuba leading the top five. This has been the news summary for this week, brought to you by Quiroga Law Office. Remember to follow us on our social media platforms. Don't forget to share this news recap so that the entire immigrant community can stay informed and up to date on the most relevant topics that matter to us immigrants in the United States.